when you're doing a war film, the scale of everything is so massive. I wanted to do it all in one go. I'd have 300 men, 100 horses, and 11 cameras in the field. It's amazing because you're actually reconstructing the real thing. I start to think like Napoleon, that influence can be great or it can be deadly. I follow in the footsteps of Alexander the Great ah! and Caesar. I'm destined for greatness. Akeem was just so incredible. I'm not built like other men. I cast Joaquin because of his passion. I will keep you guessing and scared. Scenes with him just felt really authentic. He was unbelievable at capturing the idiosyncratic psychological portrait of this unpredictable personality. When you're doing a film with Joaquin, he comes alive. He's evolving into Napoleon Bonaparte. Cut off their retreat! It was really amazing to watch him touch the really dark places. I could really see him tapping into that kind of psyche. My destiny is more powerful than my will. He's one of the best. I found the crown of new cover. I picked it up and placed it atop my own head. Josephine's story is mind-blowing, really. You first meet her after she has been released from prison. She was a kind of outsider, just like Napoleon was. She met Napoleon. What is this costume you have on? This is my uniform. And saw something in him incredibly ambitious, probably quite frightening. Ah! As the course of my life just changed, Napoleon. It's such an insight to how deeply they were attached to each other. It was a very interesting power dynamic. You think you're great? You are just a brute. I had so much compassion for her because it was a brutal time and he was brutal to be with. I am the most important thing in the world. Josephine had to be this incredible force of nature. I found her the most remarkable, interesting person. She was iconic and I felt really honored to try and inhabit her. You are nothing without me.